and then I'll open it up to questions. Um, what I'll bring to the Knicks, actually, uh, a lot of hope. Uh, I think I will trust, I'm a player who will trust the process, work hard, and uh, definitely try to be the best player I can be. Uh, I will give energy. Uh, I think I'm a team point guard and shooting guard, actually. Uh, I just try to make my teammates be better every day. Uh, and I think uh, I can play defense, too, so. Hi, Henry Mode, SI Kids, right here in the front. Um, the Knicks have had very great, have had great success with international players, young players with Chris Haps Porzingis lately. Do you think that helps with you with this environment in New York? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, to be drafted and to play in a, in a place that already have international player, it's just great to, I mean, adapt to the, the environment, like you said, and uh, like, uh, I think to play with them, to have a lot of advice how, of uh, how they feel, uh, how they felt on the court, how was their rookie season, just like great to great great for me. Thank you. Frank, I know this is all coming at you pretty quickly, but have you dreamt? Can you imagine what it will be like the first time you step onto the Garden Court as a Nick? Actually, you can realize until it happened. Uh, like, uh, I've been, I've been actually uh, playing uh, my season with my, my team back in France, and when uh, the last game, the fourth game uh, with my team, uh, and like I just started to realize uh, I was getting drafted uh, in two days, you know, and uh, more and more the emotions start to come into my head and my body. And when I heard my name, it was just great. It was just a blessing, and uh, it was actually a lot of motivation to me to go in the gym and work harder. So I think like, you can't even realize uh, how it will be to hear your name. Thank you. Frank, Adam Lockley, NBADraft.net, uh, to your left um, over here. Uh, you started your professional career in France, actually, in 2015. You were only about 17 years old. How has that experience made you more prepared for what you have in store in the NBA? Um, I think it definitely helped me to play against a grown, grown man, adult, and to play against some of the guys that went into the NBA, actually. Uh, I've been, uh, like, I had teammates that played in the NBA, former Mavs, uh, Brody Groba, former Nick, Marty Collins. So, actually, every teammate can help you to make the transition to the young, Young championship uh, to the to the to the professional championship actually so like it helps a lot. Hey Frank, we all been NBA.com. First off, congratulations on Thank the big you. night. You said that you played with Rudy Gobert when you were in France. Rodrigue Bobois, actually, oh, from okay. Mars, Yeah. Um, have you spoken to any of the French players in the NBA just to see kind of what they think, what their experience has been? Have you been picking their brains at all? Uh, not that much, uh, you know. We all trying to get focused, uh, to be focused on our season. Definitely uh, now off season, like summer league. I mean, but uh, I I've received already some messages uh, and a lot of support from them. Uh, like you know, French, French uh, basketball. We are all a family, so we both we definitely trying to help everybody. So I know they will be here for me, and it's just great, great to them. Congratulations, thank you. Thank you. you. Frank in the middle, Steve Kyler, Basketball Insiders. Uh, for those that haven't watched you play, what will you bring to the New York Knicks? What is your game? Uh, like I said first, uh, like I think a great defender, uh, willing to defend, willing to play uh, hard and uh, to give intensity to the team. And in offense, like I'm a team player, uh, I always try to, to give the best to the team no matter what happened. Uh, to me, the most important thing is to get the win. Uh, <laughs> I like to shoot it, to pass it, uh, and then play pick and roll, so. Hello, Congratulations. Frank. Thank you. Oh. To your left, in the back. Yeah. Daryl joined at Pix 11. Congratulations. What is your knowledge of the triangle offense? That's something that Phil Jackson has made his, uh, I guess, prize baby over his career. Do you know a lot about that, and what is your impression of it? Uh, definitely, uh, we talk about it. Uh, you know, I've been watching uh, a lot of NBA games, 
I know that this is a system that brings him a lot of championship, definitely. Uh, I think the play that, the system that I play back in France with my team is quite similar with it. And uh, like we, we talk about it together and I think uh, I, c I can definitely fit uh, with, this, with this system. Frank, welcome to New York. I was wondering, uh, can you divulge any of your uh, conversations with the Knicks and just kind of uh, elaborate on what you anticipate your role to be next year? Is it point guard? Is it coming off the bench? Um, or do you see yourself as a hybrid in the triangle? Uh, you know, we didn't get that far. Uh, I think uh, it was a short meeting that actually was uh, just to talk about um, I was as a man, they wanted to know me. Uh, I didn't do any workout, any, like, like you know. So they wanted to be, they wanted to know how I am. And uh, I think, me personally, I'm ready to, you know, play point guard, play shooting guard. So we'll see uh, what happened after. Uh, Frank, welcome to New York. I, I'm wondering about your childhood in France. This is Tom Beller from The New Yorker, by the way. Here in New York City, the basketball is often played in public parks, and New York is famous for producing point guards who hone their skill in these competitive games and pick up basketball games. I'm wondering if any such thing exists in Strasbourg, and, and if you could say a few words about when you fell in love with the sport when you were a little kid. Uh, I fell in love with the sport when I played with uh, my brother, uh, and actually we played uh, a lot in the, in the park. Uh, definitely I was trying to get, I was trying to play basketball every day uh, and when I, I couldn't with my team, I was every day going to the park trying to play. Against, Which park? Uh, close to my city, close to my, close to my house. It's uh, called La Citadelle. La Citadelle. Yeah, Merci perfect. beaucoup. De rien. <laughs> so. Frank, how excited are you at the concept of, or the prospect of playing with Chris Porzingis? And there have been trade rumors around him. Do you think it would be a mistake for the Knicks to let him go? Uh, I don't know, definitely. Just to play, to play with him would be great. Uh, I think, I'm, like, I've, like I've said, I'm, I'm just trying to get my teammates to be better. And uh, like we both European, we both have a like, good IQ. And uh, play pick and roll with him like, would be great. But actually, I just know that I will play great with him. Frank Len Robbins, Madison Square Garden Networks. You already have an A plus on the suit. You got that right. Thank you. Who's the designer if there is one? Did you put it together yourself or who helped you with it? Uh, I was working with it uh, back in France with our tailor, uh, Atelier 5, actually. Uh, but yeah, we worked on it together. How long ago did you start putting it together? Uh, tr three months, maybe. Three months? Yeah. Good work. Thank you very much. <laughs> Darrell Johnson, uh, Harlem News, uh, rolling out. When, when did, you get, did you get the first indication that you would be selected by the Knicks? When, when did you get the first indication that you would be chosen by the Knicks? Actually, when I heard my name, uh, I just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just, like, asked to my agent and to my family to keep it for them. Uh, I just wanted to leave the process of the draft, like, how, how I wanted to leave it, I just know where we where where I would be uh, just to hear my name. So when I heard, and and follow up, you have a big game in France tomorrow. If yeah. I, uh, what has this week been like for you? Crazy, crazy excited. <laughs> like uh, I think that's what we play for to, uh, basketball. So I have a lot of emotion, and definitely this week is one of the craziest week I've been through uh, my whole life. Uh, trying to get the championship tomorrow, so definitely great. At, at what age has you. it has it started to play basketball and how, how to pick it up? Sorry. At what age did you start playing basketball? When? Uh, the age of four, actually. Why four? Why why at four? Was it, was it your brother? Yeah, yeah, my brothers. Uh, we started playing basketball in the park when we know one day bring, brought me to, yeah, to just having some fun out outside. 
Hey, Frank. Uh, Kenny Ducey from Sports Illustrated. Congratulations. Uh, I was wondering if you spoke to Phil Jackson at all in your uh, pre-draft interview, and how, how did that go meeting him? Yeah, yeah, it was great. Uh, I spoke to him uh, yesterday, actually, uh, and it was great to, to, to talk with him. Uh, actually, uh, I think and I thought when I, when I went out uh, of this meeting that it was one of the right place for me to be and uh, to improve as a player. Uh, like I said, trust in the process. Uh, so, yeah. How long did you guys uh, speak for? Um, a long time. <laughs> Hi, Henry Moore, as I get again. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going around the Knicks at the point guard position, so you may or may not be in a starting role. How would you feel about backing up and maybe having to work harder to start? Like it's really exciting uh, to have challenges right uh, at the beginning of your career. Like it's really exciting. Uh, I mean, I'm ready for whatever will happen, and uh, like I said, just to hear my name tonight. Uh, give me a lot of motivation, and I think I'm ready for whatever will happen, definitely. Thank you, Marcy. Thank